Morning. Let's make a cup of tea. oats have been in my grab box for about two years so I don't know if it's going to be any good but hey we've got a floating bug in the water too it's all part of the fun ah that had to happen that's camping for you Right, so the plan is, I'm in Park Farm here, in Krikau. This is such an awesome campsite. I pulled in late last night, it doesn't bother anybody because you can pick a spot that's far away. And uh, it gives you a really good option at the end of the week to just pull in sometime after work, set up camp, and then in the morning you're ready to go fly. So of course, fly bubble weather. Let's find out where it's going to be flyable. Uh, thermal forecast still looks really good and I should be able to do some kind of triangle around the hills. My plan is pretty vague but here's my car and tent so I'm going to leave that here and if I can get back to here in the evening, bonus, I get comforts and if not I'm going to take my Volvo stuff so that I can be somewhere in the hills, doesn't really matter where and camp the night out, come back tomorrow. Should be fun. Better get going because it's uh, almost 9 o'clock and I've got to get to the top of the hill by about 12 to get good flying. I'm going to do an experiment this weekend. I'm only going to use this guy. Let's see what sort of film we can make just using the 360 camera. I'm going to leave all the GoPros here down at the camp and uh, let's see how it goes. This is a pretty typical um, bivy set up for me for a short bivy um, Kilibi backpack I usually have a little plastic bottle because it's just so much more convenient and then I've got a big I've got a big uh, big bag here um, this is always a difficult decision how much water do you carry with you and what are you going to find on the way? Now I've got tablets that I can purify the water. Always have that with. Um, and we're in Wales, so there should be a lot of water. There should be a, a lot of streams. So I'm guessing I don't need a lot of water. I'm going to just uh, get rid of some here. I wouldn't do this without View Ranger. Brilliant app. It basically shows me where the trails are and I can zoom in and see I'm on the right road going up to get up the mountain. Yeah. This old man needs to get out on the hills more often. Ah, it's a beautiful day. You can see the birds are feeding already in a little thermal here. This is a good sign, it means the air is good quality. It's already lifting up. Oh, I've got to get up to the top there. It's going to take me a while. Oh, so nice to be out. <sighs> Cracking day here. <laughs> See you at the top. <laughs> oh, 
Right, so this is my normal weekend bivy kit. Just a Sigma 10, so it's a light glider, light harness strike, with a light reserve inside there. My side ride bag and uh, stuff bag. Um, usually got some pants, a couple of layers, bag of water, charger. Um, that's just an avatar hyper that I'm testing, so I wouldn't normally have two various. And then uh, luxury for this weekend is pot and gas cooker and a big meal. That I don't normally have, that's optional. You could just uh, have a bag of cereal and eat it dry with some water. Cool, so we're at the slope. Uh, the wind's coming straight up from over there, which means I'm going to get rotor of that thing. Um, two options, I could either walk all the way along around to there, or could have a sneaky fly off here and just stay on this slope and not push forward. Wait until I'm up, and when I'm up nice and high, then I can glide over that spine and go along. So that's what I'm gonna do, because I'm lazy. Ha! And it's all in the back here of the strike harness. It's pretty impressive actually what the strike can take. What I've done to give myself the space, this here is my sleeping mat. You can see I've inflated it, it's creating a really nice back protection. But it's my sleeping mat and my, my tent that's in there. Cool, ready to fly. I'll see you in the air. A little bit too much across the slope, really. Wait for the next thermal to pull through. So that's what came of launching downwind of a big spine. A bit of a walk. And now I'm on the slope that's facing into wind. That's quite strong and it's just powering straight up the slope. Everything's working. I'm just soaring straight out and going straight up. It makes a huge difference when you're on the right slope. And that's quite often a problem with bivy flying because you're walking so your range is limited but it's well worth putting in the effort to place yourself in the right position for the wind so this is just making me come alive the, the, the lift is there the day is on and i've got everything opening up to me now the wind is definitely straight on this side of magic makes it so much easier to get up. And now I'm going to try and do a tour around because it's a bit of a headwind, but it's nice to have a challenge. Things are lovely. So now I'm in my playground. Altitude means options, and I can't get enough of it. Whenever there's a thermal, I'm going to use it and get height. I'm probably one of the slowest pilots in the sky because I just can't resist going up. So I'm working my way down the ridge. Oh, there's another one. I can always do with more height now. This makes the transitions easier. I'm in no hurry, just having a lovely, lovely day out. What do you think? We're high enough? Look at that! Yes! Loving it! So here we are in Wales. Oh, that's brilliant. And actually the higher I get, the less wind there is, so I can actually glide forward. So. Let's do a tour. I can see some sailplanes over there. 
and Langos Lake. I need a little bit of bar here, pushing it to win. Speed up a notch. That's one step. Paragliders are very slow. We fly at about 40 kilometers an hour through Sink the air. And headwind. So we need more speed bar. At 25 kilometers an hour headwind. I'm only doing 15 over the ground. Paragliders ready to jam down, and I'm ready to come off that foot if I feel any turbulence. So accelerated. I'm doing nice about slide. 50 kilometers an hour. Lots of height to fix anything. Happy days. Ah, topping up again because I can. It's a little tricky here with this corner piece. So I wanted a little bit of height to get over. Just point straight into wind. Just ride it up a bit. I love how the ch character of the day can change. This is the corner of the triangle. I've flown from over there. And now I'm going to make my way to Pandy. So I'm coming back into the hills from the north. And I meet a friend. Paraglider flying up above Hay Bluff. We climb together. So I'm coming up to the Pandy turn point. Lost a lot of height in the glide, so I need to get another climb out here. The wind's coming from over there. But it's not too strong, so I'm not too worried about rotor. I think the wind will just pull down this valley. I don't see any trees thrashing around. No, it all looks very calm. Beautiful landscape. It's a cracking day out. It's been such a good flight. Nice air. Not too rough. Good climbs. One or two other pilots out. Wicked. I turned over there at Pandy and I'm now gliding towards the campsite and the ridge here. Sugarloaf. What a privilege to be able to experience this kind of freedom on this kind of aircraft. Thanks to everyone that's developed wonderful paragliders and Flybubble for supporting me in my flying. When you fly cross country, you have a lifetime of experiences in one day. That's what it feels like to me. Such a rich day with so many different experiences and views and you've got to stay focused when you're flying right to the end keep control touch down bliss flying's over for the day and i could take a swim and go and find something to eat The whole point of Volbeuf for me is to just spend time in nature. It just gives me an unbroken, unplanned block of time where I can just explore. And that's the beauty of it, it's absolutely slow pace, man. Just explore, just look, experience, enjoy. Don't be in a hurry. So today's flight was really just about picking the best line through the hills. I just try to find a route that would keep me up in the best part of the air for the best part of the day, use as much of the flying conditions as I could, and then come back down to earth. But it's a wonderful space. It's just quiet, calm, and I'm totally alone. I 
it's really good for the soul. Cheers. <laughs> I suppose it wasn't a good idea to have a pint of beer and a big plate of chips. The tummy's definitely working on that and not giving me powerful legs. Hopefully the campsite's just the other side of this road and hopefully I can find somewhere flat. Right, let's get down to business. Top of cup of tea. Right, this is wild camping. It's simple. You find somewhere where you're not going to be bothering anybody. You're gone by the morning and you leave no trace. Here's a boil in the bag, so I'm going to have to boil the bags first before I make my tea, otherwise I'm going to run out of water. you got to believe it. Gits ready meals. Actually looks pretty good. What a cracking weekend and it's just one simple idea, just take all your equipment with you, go and explore. Complete freedom. Ooh, luxury! I don't normally have cooked meals on bivvies, this is quite a treat. You know why I do bivvy? Because it makes this taste good! Mmm, mmm. Cup of tea. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the trip. Do you have any Vorbiv questions? What kind of gear do you like to use? Let us know in the comments. And subscribe, like and share. It helps us to grow. Check out our website for more Volbiv guides. I wish you perfect flying weather. See you next time.